I've come to the conclusion that watermelon is my favorite with tahini. Every other fruit is just a little too overpowering. Maybe I shouldn't be eating when I'm wearing all white and I'm about to film. I know I've already talked about these, but don't sleep on them. They taste like Pringles, but better in my opinion. Unless you like like really salty things. Because this is salty, but it's not like as salty as a Pringle, I don't think. These are the Vegan Rob's Collie Crisps. That only lasts like 15 minutes in my house. Okay, so I just took this out of the box, tried it on for the first time, and I am obsessed. Look at this little detail. Love. It's ribbed. It's perfectly cropped. This is like my favorite kind of crop where it's not like too cropped, where it looks like a bra, but it's not like too long. And these are the bottoms. I'm very picky with joggers, but I love these. Look at the size of this band. It's perfect. It has pockets. Obsessed. It's by the range. I'm wearing it with my Yeezy slides. And yes, I love. So I've been using Moonbeam by Vitruvi and I've really been liking it. It's bitter orange, whole wood, blue yarrow, and rose. And I really, really like this scent. I'm about to do my makeup, but I love this lip balm. But do you see this? The focus on this camera is like absolute trash. But can you see that? Like the amount of product that I waste every time because the pressure since the packaging is like this. So much product every time I use a little bit of lip balm. Drives me insane. So the Frenemies podcast is over. Somebody asked me how I feel about it. So obviously I'm sad about it, but I'm not like that sad because I kind of expected this to happen. I didn't know if it was gonna be because of her or because of Ethan, but I, I just knew that something was bound to happen. And who knows, they'll probably end up talking again. I'm pretty sure, I mean, they're practically family at this point. Am I like devastated by it? Not really because I kind of became more of a fan of Ethan and his podcasts. I watch all three of them and I resonate a little bit more with his way of thinking than I do with Trisha, nothing against her. It's just that I never really watched her before and her content is just not like what I watch, you know? So yeah, just my two cents. Uh, I like H3 in general, so I'm still a fan. In terms of house hunting, for anybody who cares, if I do like something, it goes under contract in like a day and there's really nothing. Like we're looking for something very specific and there's just not a lot right now and the market is just insane. And we're also thinking about leaving Miami. So that's another thing. And we kind of have to go and visit like the areas that we're thinking about to see how we like it and if it's worth it and stuff like that. We'll see if something pops up here. We're not opposed to the idea, but we really, really, really have to like the house. So I'm currently filming and I tried these pants on, which are from Everlane. And I kind of like the fit on the top. I don't like, like I don't wear the culotte situation anymore. So I'm gonna try to cut it like, into shorts, so we'll see. Okay, this is what they look like. I just have to hem them. And I don't know how I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do it like this or Flip it. Let me know what you guys think. I think I just want to do like a sleek inward. I don't know. Okay, for 
today's outfit. This tank is by Kingsley, which I got from the lobby. It's just the cool, kind of like asymmetric tank. Uh, the sh thrifted shirt that I always wear. These are the shorts that I cut, which are the old trousers from Everlane. Bag is from Pollen, Paris. And shoes are the Proenza Birkenstocks. Earrings are by Majuri. And watch is Breda. And rings are also by Majuri. Hey guys, so I just finished doing my makeup and I haven't done my eyebrows. And I wanted to show you guys some new products that I got by Refi. A couple of you told me to try this brand because I was using the Got To Be Ultra Glued Gel for my eyebrows. I still love this stuff, but it's kind of time consuming and a little messy. So I've just been using these two products. It also comes with a pomade because I got the three products, but I don't really use this. It's just too much for my eyebrows. My eyebrows are already dark enough. So far, I like it. Super, super thin little pencil. Comes with a spoolie on the other side. And then the gel is like pretty hardcore. It's not as hardcore as it got to be, but it's good enough, you know? So I like it. It's what I've been using to do my eyebrows. And it works. This pencil is like very pigmented. So. I know that the whole like brushing your eyebrows up is not everybody's cup of tea but I haven't done my eyebrows professionally in over a year and I feel like if it wasn't for this little soap brow or whatever you want to call it like brushing brow up trend I don't think I would have been able to get away with not doing my eyebrows for a year so I really like it but I've kind of toned it down a little bit because I noticed it was getting a slightly too out of hand. So I just kind of like mold them and then I go in with the gel after. It kind of comes off white but then it gets clear. So I kind of brush mine up but I kind of like to shape it with a synthetic angled brush and I don't know if you can tell. It just kind of shapes them. And it makes it look like I threaded my eyebrows when I didn't really do anything to it. This is my problem brow. It just never looks as good. Okay, so that's them. I don't know if they look even or not, but it's fine. And a trick that I like to do is just pluck my eyebrows once they're filled in and they're like exactly where I want them to be. And then you just pluck the surrounding hairs. I just finished filming and I am sweating. Uh, I did the talking portion. I'll probably film the rest of the clips another day because I am tired of standing. I stood for two hours and um, it hurts. Okay, I'm so excited to open these packages because I've needed a new pan for so long. And for some reason, I just never bought one. And our place kindly reached out and offered to send me some of their stuff. So I got their pen and a set of knives. And oh my God, they're so beautiful. They come in like these packages. I got the beige knives. This is so cool, it comes with a little scrub. So I ended up going with this color, which is the charcoal color. So this is what it looks like, so beautiful. So this is their pan, and it just comes with, I guess this is like to steam your vegetables, or maybe even to like fry stuff. I have to read the manual. There's nothing that I love more 
than like multi-purpose things especially pans because I hate having like 47 different pans and I have a small kitchen so I wanted something like this so this is their always pan and this is their fully prepped bundle which comes with the cutting board and it's supposed to come with a third knife so this one is the serrated slicing knife this is their precise paring knife and their everyday chef's knife is missing but I think that they forgot to send that one over so if I get it sometime in the future I'll show you guys it just looks like a regular everyday knife kind of like this one this is just like a cheap version of what it's supposed to be so yeah, very excited to use this. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And this is what the inside looks like. Gorge. So I was between this one and the beige color, but the reason I got this one is because I kind of like dark pans or like stainless steel pans. So the beige one is beautiful, but I just feel like this one just fit the vibe a little better and I did get the knives in the beige color which I believe is called steam the quality is like ridiculous feels like so sturdy on the hands I feel like a chef so yeah and this cutting board is like the perfect size I love it <laughs> here I might as well do unboxings because I have a box situation here and it needs to be fixed it's driving me crazy also free Britney so I got Dexter some stuff some of this stuff is gonna be like stuff I bought some of this stuff is PR so this is something that I got is stuff for Dexter so I got a car leash which is just like a leash that you can tie to the car seat and he could be more protected in the car I got him a collapsible bowl so that he can drink water out of it this is actually really cool so I'm just gonna keep this in the car I think and this is all because the other day we took him on a longer car ride and he was dying of thirst. Next up, I got this bath brush because his hairs are so hard to wash. So I think that this would give him a better scrub. Incredibly interesting stuff. I know, I know. You guys don't have to tell me. I know it all. More stuff for Dexter. <laughs> okay, so story behind this i recently switched his shampoo i've been using the same one forever it's like this green shampoo so i switched his shampoo because he didn't have the one that i usually get and he started getting like little bumps all over his fur it wasn't on his skin it was on his fur so now i'm gonna try something else let's hope that this oh great the whole thing the whole thing came out of the bottle I'll figure it out, but this is the Shed Control Pet Shampoo. It smells really good. Hopefully that doesn't irritate him. It's by Tropi Clean. So I kind of like the fact that this bag didn't leak at all. I mean, the entire shampoo is outside of the bag, but the bag didn't leak. So if you just make a little hole, you can put it back in the bottle. I got him a towel. I was using a regular towel. Forty yards of tape around this like what is the point of that <sighs> the sweat looks like this nice all of this is from Amazon by the way next up we have M Cosmetics Venetian Rose ooh let's see Ooh, these are pretty. Is it too dark? Ooh, another. Yes! Because the one that I have broke. And this one's bigger. I love these little candles. Ooh. This one actually smells good. 
Oh my god, this is so cute. If you guys don't know, M Cosmetics is Michelle Phan's makeup brand. I love them. Very natural, beautiful makeup. They make my favorite lipsticks. Next up, I have my subscription from Billy. I have a subscription where they send me refills of my razors and I love these razors they do not rust I literally leave them inside my shower and they do not rust so I just got a refill of four which this will last me probably until next year and I am prone to like ingrowns and stuff and I I've been fine so by the way that was Dexter he opens doors and stuff around here Next up, I got a body SPF. This one is the Super Goop Play SPF 50. I've heard good things about this, so I wanted to give it a try. Mostly for my arms because I get hyperpigmentation on my arms. So I wanted to use a daily sunscreen on my body because I use it on my face. But sometimes I neglect everything else, you know. Um, and I got the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA by First Aid Beauty. I heard good things about this, so I want to try it out. Also for my arms, my arms have gotten a lot better ever since I switched to Necessaire because they do get very dry. I don't know if it's KP, but I know that it does get rough and kind of bumpy if I neglect them. My god, this is taking longer than expected. I'm sorry. Hope you guys like this. Or you could just use me as background noise. <laughs> it's fine. If you are using me as background noise, leave me a comment and tell me so because I do that for everything. Okay, I love having things playing in the background. Like, to a point where it's hard for me nowadays to do things without having something playing in the background. So. Laura Mercier, if you guys have been here for a while, you know that they are my faves. This is like a pretty little highlight. Looks like that. And I got a bunch of their caviar sticks, which I would swatch, but this would take me forever. So stay tuned for my stories. I like to create little like cute stories for everything, get creative with it. Last package is from Bliss. And it came in this cute little thing, and it is a sunscreen. It is the Blockstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen, 100% mineral broad spectrum SPF. Never enough SPF to try. Love it. So yes, thank you for watching. Do you guys want to see my outfit? Okay, this tank is by Style Addict. Pants are by Sundar Bay. They're just some sweatpants that have like a slit. This is by Sleeper, I believe. And that's it, just chillin'. It was kind of chilly in my house, which is why I threw a sweatshirt above. Please don't mind like my face, my pimple. I have a pimple. I'm like breaking out for some reason. I don't even know what it's from. I don't know what I'm eating. I'm going to edit most likely for the rest of the day. I've been editing the whole day. This is actually my break. And hopefully I'll have this up on Sunday. And I'll probably have another video up by Wednesday or Friday. So stay tuned for that. I know I've been a little MIA. I've just been trying to balance a bunch of things at the same time. And it, it's hard because it's just me. It's just me. What you see is what you get on this channel and across all of my social media. It is I alone, always, doing everything, every single thing that you see by myself. So yeah, I'm gonna go put all of these boxes in a nice pile so that when Roger gets back, he can have fun with that. That's his duty. He's working today. And yes, do I have anything else to report to you guys? Oh, by the way, I don't know if you can see, my TV, we, we put it behind the couch 
so that we can watch it from the bed. Um, one thing that we are requiring in our next house is separate rooms, you know, like a more compartmentalized house so that, um, you know, we have more walls to be able to put a TV up or something here. It's like we have this wall and the other wall on the other side of my house and that's it. Aside from this, which is like the loft area, it's just not very uh, practical of a house. I love it, but it's a little hard to watch TV from our room. The only TV we have is like in the living room, so yeah. I'll update you guys on the home buying situation whenever there is something to update because as of right now, there's nothing to update. So yeah, I'm gonna go edit this vlog. And I'm gonna go turn on the air, which I turned off in order to film this. Another requirement is air vents that aren't so loud, or at least where I'm gonna be filming, I need things to not be so loud because it's so difficult for you guys to even hear what I'm saying half the time when my air conditioning is on. I'm gonna go eat, I should go eat because I'm delirious, that's what it is. Too much coffee, not enough food. Thank you.